the Aam Admi Party will announce tomorrow the names uh, to be included in the Delhi cabinet. With party all set to form its government in the national capital, hectic rounds of meetings is on in the party to finalize the cabinet. Party MLAs also met at Old Secretariat in Delhi. Aam Admi Party convener Arvind Kejriwal, who yesterday informed the Lieutenant Governor about his party's decision to form the government, will be taking charge as the seventh Chief Minister of Delhi. 45-year-old Kejriwal will be the youngest Chief Minister of Delhi. IAS officer and former Power Secretary Rajendra Kumar is meeting Kejriwal as the party has begun shortlisting officers to serve as principal secretaries to the ministers in the cabinet. The key figures in his cabinet could include, and we are learning this now, former journalist Manish Sisodia, one of the senior most uh, leaders of the party, IIT graduate and lawyer Somnath Bharti, former journalist and activist Rakhi Birla, historian and social activist Akhilesh Tripathi, engineer Saurabh Bharadwaj and former congressman Vinod Kumar Bini. But talking about the agenda immediately in front of Aam Aadmi Party will be what? See, Loka Yukt one, Loka Yukt bill is one, second is water, and then uh, uh, the VIP security anyway we have already taken care of. So surely, I mean, of each of the 18 is very close to our heart. Hmm. Uh, when the time to come, we will come to know in, in what priority list we, we fulfill them. Jan Lokpal in 15 days, even if it's without Congress support? See, Congress support, let's... Sir, already there, we, we already let go. Yeah, let, go on. Let's talk about See, the, the Congress support is, doesn't depend on us. It, is, it depends on them exclusively. If they, if they want to withdraw the support at any point of time, they're most welcome. You're most welcome. You're prepared even if the government falls. See, it, it is their prerogative. We are forming a minority government. Prepared even if the government falls, even in the first few days of getting into power. That was Somnath Bharti, uh, one of the top contenders, uh, one of the front runners for forming actually the government and the, being part of the cabinet when it comes to Ahmadni Party in the national capital. <laughs> The funniest political stand which the BJP believes is after getting a minority, getting the minority numbers, the Aam Aadmi Party seeks a referendum. But even if today uh, Aam Aadmi Party would be ready to support the Congress Party, and the Congress Party, if it goes with its eight MLAs, the people of eight MLAs, those who have supported him, would say that they they are also fit to form a government. Even if it BJP goes to the people and says all the 32 MLAs who have uh, uh, elected us would say we are fit to form a government, it's a hogwash. It's, an, uh, it's, it's, it's the desire of the Aam Aadmi Party to form a government. They should form a government. Uh, but this is not a referendum. This is not an absolute majority. But nonetheless, uh, the diagonally opposite philosophies have come together which has been the bane of Indian politics to form a government. The BJP has nothing much to say on that. Congratulations. This is just not a topi, it's a crown. And this is first time in independent India that a common man has snatched the power, the crown from the ruling party. Now just wait and watch. What difference does this Aam Admi cap make to Indian politics?